Tigers, Giovanni Jorlin running back. He scored their touchdown and had some nice plays. And the irrepressible Huron borders of the Antelope Titans. Rick Stewart is standing by with our players of the game. Rick? Well, these are two quality players in a game that meant a whole lot. First of all, let's talk with Intercom's Giovanni Jorlin. You got turned around here just like all night long. What happened out there? You guys gave up a couple really heavy-duty drives early with Butler or Borders, and, you know, they, they just – it never stopped. I feel like we could have done better as a team, and at the same time we also had three out linemen, starting linemen due to COVID and being hurt. But I feel like we could have came out and did better. But they had a good game. Technically speaking, there were a lot of penalties in the game. Was it just nerves in, in first-place game? I feel like it was because it was against an undefeated team. Okay, when you were looking at their defense all night long, was there anything in particular they were doing that you didn't think of? Running. Well, we thought of it, but it was just running, running, running. Okay, so they were just playing defense and plugging the holes and stopping everything you were trying to do. Yeah. All right, well, congratulations on, on being player of the game. Best of luck for the rest of the year and playoffs, too, when you get in. Thank you. All right, thanks, Giovanni. Okay, now we're going to turn back to the leading rusher in the